A new automated McDonald's has popped up over in Fort Worth, Texas. This TikToker food enthusiast gives viewers the tour as his clips went viral when they were released. Hola amigos, the way we McDonald's may be changing forever. You can now order on the app, pull into a curbside pickup lane, go through the drive through or order ahead and go through the order ahead lane to be served by conveyor belt. When you pull up, they'll ask you for your code, and in no time, your food arrives. I gotta say, it worked pretty well. But, of course, I did unbuckle and reach over to grab my food. Now, if you go inside, you'll see that it's like no other McDonald's you've been to before. There's one kiosk to order your food. Other than that, you can go up front and pick up there. There's bathrooms, but it's designed for you to go in and out. Just to clarify, it's not completely automated, uh, which was explained in this Twitter context when the clip was shared on the social media site. It says this McDonald's concept store in Texas is still staffed by actual humans, just only in the kitchen and not the counter. The rationale according to McDonald's is to create a contactless, solely digital takeout only location to speed up service for on the go customers. So the McDonald's isn't completely automated considering there's still humans that are actually preparing the food. But the new feature, this is a new feature rampant under capitalism that could destroy, could lead to a dystopian situation where business owners won't have to deal with you know disgruntled workers who are you know actually workers who are being abused under the system of capitalism, trying to unionize for, for more pay, better benefits and to protect their rights. Daily Mail reported that the brand new eatery located just outside Fort Worth uses advanced technology so that customers can order their food and receive their meal without having to interact with any humans. And while some people are excited about the idea, others find it a little creepy. So I, I wanna say that the Daily Mail article seems to show its anti-worker attitude as the writer and the people that they got comments from on the McDonald's, they were celebrating it. Their attitudes were were excited about it. So um, let's go back to that. While your food will be cooked by real people, you won't have to interact with them at all because they'll be tucked away in the kitchen. Some were all for the idea with one viewer writing, finally, my order will be quick and accurate. Uh, and some TikTok comments were cheering this on as well. Another agreed, awesome, no more attitude at the counter. Maybe my order will finally be right, someone else said. While a fourth comment read, love it, no attitudes, crankiness or incompetence. And as it moves to other part of dining, no tips. Which is, first of all, yeah, I mean, tips don't really apply at McDonald's. But I just wanna know, what kind of people are you that when you're going to get your food at McDonald's, you're just being berated by the staff? Like, what are you doing (laughs) to instigate that? (laughs) Something's gotta be going on there. Yeah, I hate to break it to you guys, but what this means is there's no one you can complain to when the order's wrong. Like I, I definitely want to see. I love seeing through the window. I love seeing how people are getting on. I used to be like a mystery guest for Jack in the Box, so my job was actually like evaluate how clean it was. There was no way to like see into the kitchen in this situation. It's all, it's a mechanical Turk essentially. It's like, it makes you feel like it's all automated, but there's actually people inside. Now you don't get to see the people inside. So if you're the kind of person who would complain about disgruntled workers berating you, you're probably also the kind of person like, I wanna see in there to see if they're they're just lazy or have their shirts off or like spitting in the food. You're never gonna know that. You're never gonna see that in this situation. All it's doing is getting rid of jobs, period. And the folks that complain about that, you know, when it's Mexican people coming to Fort Worth, they're taking your jobs. They should be complaining about McDonald's this very moment because that kind of job at a fast food restaurant is a really, really good job, typically. Um, if it because it, there's there's a way to move yourself up within the organization and maybe someday I know multiple people who started and ended up owning franchises of their favorite um, their favorite fast food um, chains.
Yeah, and Brett, you weren't the only person who brought up the worker rights angle or the their issues with this concept. Here's some comments from people on this video. Soon enough, we're gonna be those people in Wally. Do you know how easy it will be to steal food from the window now? How the future is scary for me. It's lazy, it looks dead inside, I am scared. And then finally, this will put so many people out of work. I'm not for it. So McDonald's in response to the video released a statement explaining its intentions. They said in a press release, the fast food chain explained that the restaurant which is now open is geared towards customers who are planning to dine at home or on the go. So there's no seating inside the restaurant and it's considerably smaller than a traditional McDonald's. It described the new concept as a fast and seamless experience for both customers and crew. McDonald's added that it's excited to continue to test new ideas and innovations that can potentially benefit restaurant teams and customers around the world. Manager Keith Vanisek added, the technology in this restaurant not only allows us to serve our customers in new innovative ways, it gives our restaurant team the ability to concentrate more on order speed and accuracy, which makes the experience more enjoyable for everyone. But at the end of the day, it also, like you mentioned, Brett, it eliminates jobs. It takes jobs away from people and it takes away that final human quality check of the food that's going out to you. Uh, because you know they're cooking there, but the the move towards automation, these people are celebrating that their orders are going to be right. But it only takes away that final line of defense that's checking your bag for you, and it takes away your ability to have some sort of complaint in the event that it is wrong, or to to get a refund. Or I mean, for God's sakes, ask them at the window as you're leaving for a, a fistful of more sauces <laughs> that you want. I love yeah. I miss it. I miss the the time when you could watch. Like they had commercials about, you know, I forget the kid's name, but it was like he works at McDonald's now. He works at McDonald's. He's doing such a great job. He's got a job at McDonald's. That was like an '80s famous advertisement that now is going to be like, oh my god, did you meet the new robot? He works at McDonald's. It's so sad. There's no there's no personality behind this company. But then again. I mean, the automation, if you've watched the documentary about McDonald's and, and the guy, who Ray Kroc, who bought it from the original owners, um, that's in the company's DNA from, from way back.